Hi everyone, Billy here from BoatAlert.com. And today we will be looking at the topic of center console boats. It will be fun because there are new features in center consoles these days that you would not expect. So let's add this video to your logbook and get started now. A center console boat has a helm station mounted near the center of the boat. They are generally open and have a variety of propulsion systems but generally, it will be an outboard engine. Why buy a center console? Well, they are great for fishing, for obvious reasons, as they maximize deck space. They also work well for families, with their shade producing, T-top and running space for kids, or to pull them around with tow toys. Did we mention that center consoles are cheaper because they don't always have a cabin? They are also lighter so they can perform better with the same horsepower. These days, there are interesting center console boat models. In the past, center console boats were pretty small. They even had one engine only. Beneath that console were just batteries and wiring, and your fishing hooks. Nowadays, center console boats will have more variety. Part of the change has come simply because center console boats have gotten much bigger. So with twin, triple, and even quadruple outboards, air conditioning, and a host of other amenities you will be surprised. All that would have been unheard of even a decade ago. With the increase in size comes an increase in space under the console, and that has given boat builders the flexibility to innovate in that space. Hold on, before you get excited about buying a used boat, make sure to check its BoatAlert.com history by using the the hull ID number. Okay, let's get into some cool center console features. These are some of the coolest features that grabbed the attention many people recently. The Chris Craft Catalina 34 has lots of light and impressive amenities. The Chris Craft Catalina 34 has a horizontal window of the sunpad. The Cobia 296cc has a big stand-up head compartment for a 30-feet boat. Porta potties and even toilets plumb to holding tanks. The Cobia 296 has a small vanity with a sink, pressure water, and stowage drawers underneath. The Vanquish 24 comes with inboard power and a good-looking, outboard-free transom. This gives fuel efficiency and a low center of gravity. The 4200 Siesta is a beefy offshore center console boat that can be powered by a bunch of different outboard configurations, and has over 6 feet of headroom. It also has plenty of warm looking wood surfaces. Some boats will have large live well tanks so you can transport live aquatic animals or fish bait. It can be between 14 and 40 gallons. The Everglades 435cc is huge, at 45 feet and has quad Yamaha engines. To run those engines they built in a 570 gallon tank. Did you know it has a full queen-size bed that converts to a couch? Added navigation gear should be expected but many of the new center consoles come with a dashboard so large you can fit multiple electronics. We won't get into too much luxury features today, but some have air conditioning, a 19 inches flat screen TV with DVD, a porcelain toilet, a refrigerator, hot and cold running water, and a microwave. The Aquasport 2500cc has a Kevlar reinforced hull and the 240 Dauntless center console boat offers ergonomically designed seating. For the family of fishermen, the Roballo R230 features vertical storage for 6 fishing rods and 4 gunnel mounted stainless steel rod holders. Now that you know the ropes it's now time for this video to pipe down. Alright, if you love this topic, please give us a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for listening.